All right, folks, here it is. This is Monkey Stoic. And you know what that means? It's time to DIY this thing. Okay, if you don't know what Stoic or Monkey is or what I'm even talking about right now, I would encourage you to check out monkey.co and see what these guys are all about. But bottom line, Monkey is a fitness gear company, kind of unlike anything else out there. Not only do they make really great fitness products, but they also have a really great community backing them. They have a huge library of workouts for their equipment uh, on their mobile app. And they also just have a ton of resources to encourage you to kind of get back to this wild, anti-fragile lifestyle. And that's kind of what they're all about. So to that end, they do something that I haven't seen any other fitness company do before. They actually encourage you to go out and make your own versions of their products. In the past, they've asked me to make DIY guides for a lot of their other products, like the Monkey Bars 2, Monkey 360, Pocket Monkey, and coming up soon, I'm gonna be doing a DIY for their new Pocket Monkey 2 that's still in Kickstarter right now. That kind of philosophy really gets me excited about a company because they are more focused on their community and their mission than they are their bottom line. It seems counterintuitive, but they really do make good stuff. Um, and the people that can buy it, that have the budget to buy it, obviously will because it's gonna be a lot better quality than any kind of DIY that I can make. But all that being said, we are here today to make a DIY of this Stoic platform. So this is Stoic. They're calling this a gym for your feet. The folks over at Monkey designed it using 3D scans of real textures out in the wild. It's basically designed like a standing mat, but with terrain. So Dan over at Monkey actually sent me this on loan for a few weeks uh, to make this guide and to test it out. This is unlike anything else I have ever stood on. I've been using it at my desk for a couple of weeks and I love it. I'm gonna be really sad to see it go. I'm gonna have to send it back but I am going to try to make something similar to this using cheap items you can find at any big box or sporting goods or a pet store. So I'm gonna show you the components of Stoic real quick. Uh, that way we can get an idea of what we're making. So starting out, you can see we have these pads. These are the 3D scanned textures. They appear to be made out of a kind of a rigid EVA foam. You can pull them up. You can see uh, where they've been injection molded. It's a pliable, you know, nice kind of a rigid, solid thing. They don't deform much when you stand on them, uh, which is kind of nice. Same with this one. This is the Redwood Forest. This one's over here is the River Rock. But same thing, made with uh, pop foam. So yeah, this is an EVA foam injection molded uh, process. So you can take these out. These are modular foot pads. So that means you can swap them out with other textures they've made like these. This is the bed of nails, and they just kind of clip right into this base here. As for this base, this is a hard plastic. It's pretty heavy, it's got a nice good weight to it. It does have some grippy rubber on the bottom for gripping to most surfaces. And then we have this removable balance beam. This is sort of a firm rubber. It does kind of wiggle around a bit. I think it's some kind of a silicone maybe. It fits with these pegs into these slots here on the base. So this is my favorite, this green one here. They also have sort of a even rounded, half round beam. They have the knife ridge, I think it's called. It's very kind of dramatic terrain sort of thing that's pretty challenging to stand on. And then they just have a flat magnetic piece of bamboo that kind of clips right in there. So that's kind of a quick run through. We've got the base, we've got foot pads, and we've got a balance beam. So three parts. Okay, let's get on to the DIY. Got the maker man bun going here. Okay, so starting off with the base, we're going to make it out of this half inch plywood here. The dimensions of the Stoic is about uh, 19 inches wide by about 27 inches long. This piece of plywood is a bit smaller than that, but it is what I had around. Obviously you can size the dimensions however you'd like for your feet and your stance. This works for me. I do kind of like the sort of trapezoidal shape of Stoic, so I'm gonna do some cuts of this plywood. Um, but you can obviously shape it however you'd like. All right, there we go. Something kind of like that. Okay, so we have our base, but then a part of the base is also the slot for the balance beam. That's gonna be kind of just like a half pipe slot that the balance beam can sit within. I actually had some of this 
uh, cove molding. This is polystyrene, uh, so not wood, it's actually kind of a plastic, but it's very light, um, and they are sort of a quarter pipe. And I figured I could put two of them together, kind of like, maybe like that, and that'll give us our slot. That way we can use maybe this one inch PVC can sit in there, uh, kind of like that, or I can use this dog chew toy uh, to sit in there as well, kind of like that. So I'm gonna cut these pieces of cove molding and secure them to the platform like that, probably with just some construction glue will work great. But yeah, I'm gonna make sure I leave a little bit of a gap, that way I can have sort of a larger diameter balance beam than what having them together provides. Okay, so I've got this construction adhesive and a caulk gun, but you can use a lot of other types of adhesive. I just happen to have this round. I do like it, especially uh, applying it to plywood. I'm just gonna lay a bead down here. Should stick on our pieces here. And I'm gonna use this one inch PVC to make sure I have the right gap. So the balance beam slot is done. Our base is complete. So look at the base platforms kind of head to head. Similarities and differences as you can see. Um, I decided not to do this sort of outer lip on my base platform. We do have the slot for the balance beam. So now we need to work on getting our foot pads made. Now for the foot pads, it's gonna be kind of a two part thing. We're gonna start off with just the surface, which will be just this foam gym puzzle mat. We'll have a few of these. These come in a pack of about five or six uh, pieces, so you can make a bunch of different surfaces. So what we're gonna do is start off with the non-bumpy side, if you have a bumpy side, and we're gonna slide it under here. We're basically just gonna cut out the shape of our foot pad. So we're gonna line up the edge of the puzzle piece with the line of our balance beam. That way they match up perfect. We will trace the shape. Okay, and we'll do the same with the other one. I'm going to cut out these pads. To do that, you need a very sharp knife to cut this foam. You can also use a really sharp pair of scissors. So starting off, I'm just going to cut off the little puzzle piece ends. Next, take your sharp knife and just cut around where you traced. So we've got our foot pads. There. I'm gonna cut another pair because I do have plans for a second surface, but that's essentially how that's gonna work. So the next step is going to be to build on the terrain features. Whew. We're getting there. All right, so here's where you can get a little bit creative with this build. You can sort of make the terrain of the foot pads however you want. I really liked the redwood forest terrain. It's got these nice little uh, pine cones and sticks and twigs. Uh, but I also like the river rock, which is sort of the rounded kind of river stone uh, feel. It's very uneven, but you know, they kind of have these little peaks and valleys for your feet to get into. Both of them have their advantages and disadvantages. So I'm going to try to mimic a good mix of them. I went to a uh, sporting goods store, I went to a pet store, and kind of got an eclectic mix that I can use to build terrains on. So things like this. We've got racquetballs, tennis balls, we have this yoga block, we have practice golf balls, uh, we've got these kind of tire dog toys, and this is a yoga mat I've had for quite a while. It's one of those massage spiky yoga mats. And notice that the massage, you know, acupressure sort of features are exactly like the bed of nails. I really like that and I never use this thing anyways. So I'm gonna cut this up and use it as some of the terrain. So the goal then is to cut these pieces up and use them as 3D features on our foot pads. To stick them onto the foot pads, I'm gonna use just this contact cement. This worked pretty well in the Monkey 360 build with foam. It's a pretty good uh, adhesive. So I'm gonna cut some things up and we'll kind of see how this works out. Uh, so something like a heat gun can be used to deform some of these foam things and make different features out of them. Uh, and then when they cool, they're obviously set. So I'm gonna start with this uh, massage roller. Kind of a sharp pocket knife here. This might do the trick. Uh, 
There we go. So then I can use my heat gun to roll this thing out so it'll keep its flat shape. Cool. That's nice and flat. And then I'm going to cut it again down the middle into two halves. That way I have two of them. So then our bed of nails can go onto our foot pads here, just kind of like that. So we're basically going to use contact cement on both sides. We're going to let it tack up and then we're going to stick them together and they should be stuck forever. So we'll start by brushing a thin layer on this half. It will probably soak in a little bit into the porous bits of foam. That's okay. We will put some on the uh, bottom of our texture too. You just let it get tacky for about five, 10 minutes, and then you stick them together. So I can just weigh these down, and then we'll set them aside and let them dry up. Okay, so now that the bed of nails is done and over there drying, I'm going to work on the 3D terrain pieces. So I'm kind of just going to cut up the materials that I have and see what sort of terrain features work. Starting with a couple of these practice golf balls, I can just sort of cut into them. They have a seam where they were made, so I'll just cut that. Cool, what's that one? Try a racket ball here. I kind of want a piece of racket ball that's shorter and one bit that's taller. So we haven't cut off like a, you know, not half cut. Try a tennis ball. So you can start to see that we're getting a, some features, you know, figured out here. Maybe we can cut off this guy. Maybe I can straighten it out with a heat gun here. Okay, that was a lot of cutting. So here's what I ended up with. We've got a whole bunch of these uh, half golf balls. We've got some of that foam block cut up into some random shapes. Those tires, uh, I used some heat and got them bent into kind of a log. And then we've got a whole bunch of these uh, tennis balls and racket balls cut in half. Now I found that the tennis balls and racket balls, they're pretty squishy. Probably not gonna give you enough support to stand on. So I did find that when you double up, two halves, uh, you get a lot more strength out of them. It's more rigidity uh, that mimics the foam of the Stoic. So that's what I'm gonna do with all of these. I'm gonna make sure that they are actually doubled up like that. So we have a whole bunch of interesting texture here. Now we need to get it glued onto our foot pads to make our terrain kind of 3D surfaces. Again, we're gonna go back to our contact cement for that. I'm gonna try to figure out the pattern layout so I'm not just randomly putting stuff on. I'm looking at the stoic over there and I'm trying to sort of copy the pattern. You have kind of like a log on the end there with a few, maybe. Kind of like that. Let's mark our spots for the show, shall we? This way I'll know where to put the contact cement and not just have it covering the entire surface. Okay, so I have all of the spots marked on the foot pad, where stuff's gonna go so I don't forget and I know where to put my glue. So, here we go. Okay, so that's everything on the first half. That is a lot of glue. Uh, that's gonna take a little bit to tack up. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put some weight on these just to be safe and then I'm gonna let them sit overnight to cure up and be all nice and solid. And then I will be back to you tomorrow. All right, it's day two. We're ready to put this thing all together. The glue is all dried. Here we go. So we've got our base 
And uh, here come the surfaces. I'm really excited to show you these. So here's the first one. This is the bed of nails. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we have this nice kind of acupressure platform here. I'll do a side-by-side -side with Stoic. Here is the bed of nails for Stoic. Here is my bed of nails. Okay, but yeah, pretty close, I think. I'm happy with that. So here comes the 3D texture sort of one. So colorful, at the very least. The glue did set up very nicely. Yeah, I mean, this turned out actually a lot better than I thought it would. Bedwood, River Rock, and my version. There are similarities and drastic differences. It does have the same functionality, I believe. Maybe to a lesser quality, but it works. So the last thing to do then is to figure out a balance beam system. So I do have this dog chew toy, it's sort of like a hard rubber. It's very similar to the rubber of the stoic balance beams. If you wanted, you know, you could cut this little knob off. So then we could sit it inside our little track here and we have these kind of knobs that stick up that are similar to this knife ridge. So we do have this option as a balance beam. I do want one more. Since Stoic does come with multiple balance beams and I've already done multiple foot pads, let's just do another balance beam. Okay, so I do also have this piece of one inch PVC pipe uh, that can fit right in there. I've cut it down to size already. But what I'm also gonna do, since it's just this hard plastic, I'm gonna wrap it in some of this, it's called rescue tape. This is actually a tape that plumbers use to fix pipes and things, so it does it doesn't really have any adhesive on it, it just sticks really well to itself. So if you just kind of roll it along... And there we go. So now you have this kind of coated, rubbery, grippy surface, which will fit perfectly in that balance beam slot. And now this is what it makes to stand on. So there you have it. This is the DIY Monkey Stoic. You can see that there are plenty of similarities and differences. This one is obviously way more colorful, uh, but this does have much higher quality parts, foam, uh, fit and finish, uh, even the balance beams are nicer. So uh, definitely worth the money in my opinion. But if you're looking to have a fun weekend project, if you uh, don't have the money to spend on a Stoic, but you still want the experience, give this a try. And if you do, let me know in the comments of this video. Have some fun with it, get creative, play with it, make different foot pads, you can make all different kinds. You can tailor it to suit whatever needs you're looking for. See what you can do with it and have some fun. All right, time to go stand on this thing and see how it works. Okay, so not bad for a test run. The balance beam feels very similar. This obviously has a little bit more give to it, which I like. This has a nice grip to it and feels solid. This one also, I tested this out. Feels great, it is a bit of a challenge to stay on these knobs, but I think that's the point. Yeah, definitely try out some dog chew toys if you're gonna make balance beam. As for the different textures, obviously Stoic feels better to me. I like all of the little 
dips and valleys, the elevation changes of these textures. This doesn't quite have as much elevation change. The effect of having your feet stretched out and moved and kind of contouring to this terrain is much more accurate or much more dramatic with uh, these textures, you do get some of that effect here, especially when you're standing on the kind of higher peaks um, over here, you know, and you can kind of really feel the texture under your feet. But yeah, I, I really did enjoy it. I think that it does live up to the Stoic. It's not quite, you know, on the same level, but it is just a DIY after all. And the bed of nails, um, that feels great as well compared to the Stoic. Same material, same kind of pattern. So that was even closer. I would definitely recommend doing that if you can get a hold of one of those. Check out the Monkey Stoic and uh, go make something. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.